Hey, uh, Mike, quick question. Yes, Billy. What happens if you stop mim test in the middle? Does it you ram up? Screw you ram up? Does it what? You ram up? Oh, Frick. oh, okay. Um, it uh, it does not. So I could just stop it right now. You could, if you're convinced yeah. that your ram is okay. Yeah, I'm pretty dang convinced. Okay, so it could be the board if it's hardware related. If yeah, you I don't if think you want to so. roll I out software issues, the yeah, probably I'm the quickest first. Every time I get recommendations, people usually tell me hardware first, and I'm tired of spending money, so I'm rolling software yeah. out first. So if you want to do probably the quickest way to rule out any software issue is back this up all is your an off stream discussion. No, no, this no. Good content for YouTube, Mike. What are you talking about? Nobody's was... gonna watch the videos if we're talking about diagnosing. What if? What I if was there's in the peak of my foot girl story? You interrupt. I literally have a video this. where I take apart an NES and then paint it. But that's not, it's not in the middle of a Dark Souls Let's Play that you did that. <laughs> so? You know, like, Anyways. and before we fight Gwyn, I'm gonna show you guys the NES. <laughs> Best thing to do to rule out software issues, in my opinion, is to just do a fresh install Windows. <laughs> Back up okay, your stuff. spiders a lot. Oh yeah, that's just a moss. We don't want that. Wait, am I? Um, hmm. I think you were gonna go to Sif, right? Uh, we want, oh, we need to go down the Hydra way. I got yeah. so distracted. My goodness. Tell us about your foot girl story, Josh. <laughs> you can't call it my foot girl story. That sounds worse. Well, now I have to You're the one who doesn't story. want to explain it. Well, it was funny with just a random passing. Now it sounds like I have some weird, like, arrangement with a girl where she shows me her feet or something. <laughs> she does, though. No, it was just my friend. She broke her foot. I think I mentioned that. And Aiden just started calling her foot girl from there. That's it. <laughs> foot girl. Gotcha. No feet were seen. I broke my foot. Does that make me foot boy? Yes. Um, foot boy and foot girl. You know what? Yes. yes. But anyway, foot girl used to read uh, the cat version of Guardians of Gahul, which is like, war was it Warriors? Oh, I Do you know, know what I'm talking about? No. That's a thing was, that exists? Yeah, it was like a book series where it was kind of like the same vein of Guardians of the Cool, except instead of owls, it was a bunch of cats. Oh, I don't know. I know Redwall, but that's mice and rats, which you should know <laughs> plenty about. Well, yes, I didn't bother mentioning it because it goes without saying I know right. about it. I guess it's not really Guardians of the Cool, though. It's like more medieval. No, I haven't heard of the cat one. Oh, well, that was my contribution to a story that we started like five minutes ago. <laughs> I read the first me. Redwall. That was like a that was a good book. Uh, there's more though, right? I should I should look up the other ones. Now I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna surprise you, Aiden. All right, you ready? Okay. All right. I was lying. I have never read them. Read well, them? Yeah. Josh the liar. Well, you should. Okay. Or re read it out loud to your rats. <laughs> a bedtime story. Yeah. That'll be my first YouTube video, just softly and sadly reading Red Bull to you. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> what about you, Billy? You got any books you want to just like uh, talk about? No one asks you about them, but you just want to talk about them? This is our book club um, hour. Yes, book club. Yeah, yeah there's this, this hard book that I'm trying to work on. It. It's called... Um, oh! Uh, wow. I'm, 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 One, two, I'm installing three, four, RAM on my computer. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he's doing that. What about you, Mike? You got any good books read lately? Uh, read half of The Manga Bible by Siku, ah. which is like an adap- uh, it's oh, like a well. manga adaptation. <laughs> oh, it's like actually the Bible, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's an adaptation Bible. of Genesis to Revelation, but they, I mean, it's it's only so thick, so like right off the bat you realize, oh, it's they'd probably take a lot of um, artistic liberties, which they do, but they, I, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised at how true to it that they stuck. Because as far as I know, they're, they're, they themselves, the artists and slash writers, they themselves are not religious. Interesting. That's uh, it looks, it actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> That'd be a pretty funny thing to look at. Yeah, I, I saw it on Amazon. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. Yeah, I got a copy so, of. Um, uh... Oh, go ahead. It, it was on my wish list, and uh, my sister got it for me for uh, my birthday. Last year? So I have two, so, <gasps> you know. Nani? Nani? Omaru. Omaru Shimeru. Now we got to put that in. I've been dying to break that out. What are you going to say, what do you got? Oh, nothing. I was going to say that I got the uh, the manga adaptation of Les Rob, and I'm excited to read that. Oh, wow, there's a lot of uh, adaptations of that. And, uh, I can't remember his game tag. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just Danny. Remember you, me, and Danny? Yeah. Uh, we used to watch the Lame Is anime. Yeah, I watched a I bit of that with you. Oh, yeah. You? Yeah. Lame Is a cool. Rob, Shoujo Cassette. Shoujo Cassette. That I was a masterpiece. I don't think we've ever finished it, right? 
Right, yeah, we have to finish it because we stopped right before all the action happens and people start dying. Well, I was gonna say, I would love it if, like, you know, it's just Les Mis, the anime, and then you get to, the, like, the action scenes and you get, like, mech fights and, like, Godzilla and stuff like that. <laughs> just standard anime tropes. <laughs> incredible. Well, because it's so funny because it's, like, it was all about Cosette, so it's, like, super cute, like, oh, she, they even, like, add, like, a little dog to make it even cuter. Uh, choo choo or something like that. Shoo, I think it's shoo shoo. Shoo oh, shoo. Uh, but it was, and it's like all like overly super adorable. And then, but then like you know, because Lane is a Rob, it's like everybody dies. <laughs> Fancy <Pretty much>. just <laughs> like bites it. Oh, yeah. spoilers. That's a lame Miz. If people don't know the ending of Lane Miz yet, um, I'm sorry. Like, like me? Wasn't that book written like <laughs> See, the thing is, or something? The thing is, yeah. Aiden, my, I think my first real exposure to Lane Miz was the uh, anime. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Why can't I hit this thing? I think your sister was super into Lane Miz, isn't she? Uh, or sort of. Oh. Oh. Huh. I think my niece is. You might be thinking about our other two friends. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's a. I, I really want to see the ending of that show. We, one of these days, we should just. When the quarantine is over, we should get together and finish it. Just finish it. Oh my gosh, I hit him. Dr. Wolf, that was his team name. Dr. Wolf. All right, bleep out what I said earlier. It's now Dr. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't consider first name to be doxing. Yeah, I don't think Danny would really either. care. Some people do. Some people with really basic white girl names. <laughs> Are we gonna do the DLC? We should do the DLC before we fight Sif. That's scary though. So man. we can make him sad. I'm okay. Oh, you know what though? You know what though? Well, let's let's free <laughs> Dusk. That's her name, right? Dusk? Yeah, Dusk. Let's free her and get her magics. Oh, yeah. Because we're a sorcerer after all. Right, and then we'll be able to turn into rocks if we want to. Yay. What? I'm sorry, what? You know, with, with Chameleon? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> PvP shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Oh, that does piddly squat damage right there. Josh, what about you? What book, uh, what book series do you want to tell all the viewers about? That's a good question. It's been a while since I read a good book. I have like a bunch of them on my backlog. Um, I didn't mean to read. So, yeah, like, uh, I picked up the Witcher series, the Witcher book series. So I have the first oh, really? one that mm. I have to read. I have that first one too. I think, unless I sold it, because I never got around to reading it. So I was just like, eh. I cannot stay here. Oh, there goes Bye, Billy again. So, Bye, Billy. Um, like I went on a kick where I, I found like a bunch of like, you know, well-reviewed, like popular books. So I was like, I'll give these a shot. They must be popular for a reason. Um, like World War Z, I was reading that. That's kind of cool because it's like a bunch of mini stories. Isn't that based off of the game that we used to play? Uh, I think the game is based off the movie, which is based off the book. Right, that's what I meant. The, yeah, yeah. The, okay. I think they're all completely different. So, uh, real, real Billy's back. Welcome back, real Billy. Hi, real Billy. Was so that the fake Billy fake before? Billy. That was that was dumb Billy. Billy who's dumb and ugly and stupid and fat and dumb. Uh, so what yeah, I missed I'm pretty sure I lent, I lent that Billy like 15 bucks and he never paid it back. Yeah, that, that Billy is a slimy piece of sh he, he said the real Billy would uh would cover his tab. Yeah, well, you know, that, that guy that guy is just a real prankster. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn you down, Billy. Are you on your uh, PC now? Yes, sir. Oh, Aiden, you know wow. what my favorite book of all time is? What's that? The Yellow Birds by Kevin Powers. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I don't know all if right. I ever read that. Go ahead I, and I speak. read it. It was just Billy? an anti war book. Um, a hello. That's too close. What do you mean that's too close? That's too close. So, what? Now you're too far. What are you on about? How can you distance your microphone? How do you not crack I haven't changed the distance an inch. You weren't just like face up in your microphone. Stop going, hey, gaslighting me. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> We're all being gaslit. Josh, I'm looking at the reviews for the movie The Yellow Birds. There's and it has movie? two. It has, apparently, it has two stars <laughs> on Rotten right. Tomatoes. That's Why crazy because, like, we at college we had this guy come oh, in. Wait, you okay. did it just now? Or I, no. Okay. Fantastic. I can. Thank you. All right, let's uh, take a small break as I go move my car. You see, they're redoing the gas lines underground, and I had to park my car in the neighbor's oh, driveway. We were actually literally getting gaslit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I held right. my cough so we. Here on recording. Oh, we're getting oh, invaded. Spirit. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're getting invaded Killer. by dusk. I'm dusk. Oh, it's dusk. She's gonna beat us up. Pardon honor me. To see the <laughs> Josh, Josh, tell, fill in the audience about our uh, the yellow birds. 
situation because we teased <laughs> it a little bit. So back in college, um, there was this book called The Yellow Birds. It was written by Kevin Powers. And our college made such a big his name. deal about it. Yeah, they made such a big deal. My <laughs> English lit class made such a big deal about because we got the guy, Kevin Powers, to come to the college. And they were like, ooh, this is great. You guys are going to ask him questions, and then you'll write a paper on it, and it's going to be great. You'll love his book. And we read the book, and it's just, it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not educated enough to say, you know, why I didn't enjoy it, why I think it's a bad book, but I didn't like it. I think it's a bad book. And it, just, wasn't, it wasn't just your class. It was the whole college they made us read it. Oh, right? was it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I remember just seeing my class, but it's, it's possible they did, um, like, tiered interviews with them. But anyway, like, yeah, I don't think many people enjoy the book. It was just your basic anti-war book written from a like, perspective of a soldier, where he's like, oh, I shot a man. Anti-war? <laughs> Yeah, or was it, was it just about war. like the, the the terrors and like regrets I, of war? Now bear in mind, this was like over five years ago. I believe it was anti-war because he saw the horrors, and I think it ends with him contemplating suicide or something. Just like how war has an effect on soldiers, which absolutely it does. Our soldiers are mistreated, oh, yeah. um, and there's no support for them when they get out. But um, this book was not the way to tell the public about that. But anyway, um, yeah, we had him coming for interviews. And apparently they made a movie after his book, you're saying? Apparently, yeah. terrible reviews. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Speaking of war movies, did you guys see, I think it was called 18... 1917? 19, 18, 19... I don't know. It was like oh. a... It was... It was the, con, the premise behind it was to film it in... And make it look like one continuous shot. That's yeah, cool I remember that concept. won like a million awards. It, it was actually it really good, just just as a movie. Like e even taking away the gimmick, it was it was a really good movie. Ah, see, I'm here yeah. for the gimmicks. That sounds like a cool gimmick. I'd watch. It, it is a cool gimmick, but also it's just a good movie in general. So, oh, that's a lot of damage. There's another movie where they did something like that. I don't know if it was all one continuous shot or it was just mostly. Oh, what movie was it? Because I really like it. Whatever it was. <gasps> the Treeman. Oh my goodness, they're coming. They're coming for you. Coming for us. I ooh ah, getting hashtag wet boy. They reach really far with their whippy hands. Can I can I use this time to talk about something that I want to talk about, but there is literally no way for me to casually bring it up in conversation because it never fits in. Sure, sure. So dollar bill slots on like machines in general, cash out machines, self checkouts. They've gotten super advanced. You can put a dollar bill in any way you want, and they still accept them. I know. And that did not used to be the case. So much better. <laughs> And this just like happened overnight that I realized it because I don't remember a time. I remember. I feel like it happened more gradually, where it like gradually got better. I but... don't. Because I remember being at like a roller skating rink and having to like flatten your dollar out to get your quarters and put it in yeah. exactly the right way. And then I remember just like throwing three like five dollar bills, a quarter, a dollar into the slot and just spits them all out and only takes the right dollar. Like they're just so advanced now. Yeah, man. And that's this has been my rant. Thank you. <laughs> the vending machines in my college are real fancy. You can even use like your credit card now if you want. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And there's like a big screen and everything with like visuals. It's almost like, like confetti comes out when you get your food. <laughs> they made you giving them money fun for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My old debit card had the uh, tap to pay feature, like that wireless chip in it. But then um, that one time I thought I lost my wallet at uh, the fly place. Um, like I thought I lost my wallet, so I canceled all my credit cards and debit cards. And uh, then I found it and the replacement <laughs> card you gave me does not have the pay chip thing. And I'm so sad. Oh, that sucks. Oh, recently I had a credit card scare. Ooh. Um, I got a random, um, uh, I guess it's called tweaking where they take a small amount to make sure the card works, I guess. I don't know if that's what they were doing, but it was like 52 cents or something that was taken out. Oh, okay, so yeah. With, the card withdrawn or, or spent, attention. something like that. And then um, come to find out, there was two instances of... Oh, somebody just invaded. There was two, two... Ah, Truman. There was two instances where a Linux machine had logged into my account. Two different Linux machines, actually. Oh, nice. Ooh. And I don't use Linux, <laughs> so... <laughs> So I was like, uh oh. Yeah, I had one. I was at work and I just like got a notification on my app, like, yo, someone in California just paid like $1,500. Was this you? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> so I just called them up, canceled it, and like it was super easy. Thank you, Discover MasterCard. <laughs> Discover for when you're not in California while someone's buying something in your name. <laughs> for when you're not spending $1,500 in California. <laughs> Discover. Kick him. Gotcha. Hey, all oh, right, you have a katana. What a loser. I am human in the forest. This could be bad. Because <laughs> I don't think there's an invasion timer, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not for blue spirits. 
Yeah, he could come back, I think. Golzo Rhythmar. He could try to get me again, I'm pretty sure. And he could die again. <laughs> yeah, he, he could. could. He could block at you again. <laughs> he could block at me with a little buckler or whatever it was. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess I was doing the same, but hey. <laughs> Freaking. What's her name? Oh, Ferris. No, no, can't. Oh, yeah. Oh. I thought you were going to say something else. Yeah, the normal ending to freaking that we have. That's someone's <laughs> name that we can't say. Ah, uh, yes. That would be Doxing. That would actually be. <laughs> that is the last name. Oh! It's not a talking dox for this friendly YouTube video between three real-life friends. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I said three. I don't like one of you. Figure it out. Don't like you either. Funny. Yay! <laughs> Smart boy, Billy. Oh, hey, that's that's all the other NPCs. Whoopsie doodle. This is a problem. Maybe I should make a run for it for the door. You can just open it, right? From the uh, other side. I, oh, I don't know. Can you? Let us find out. You know what I could do is cheese out the NPCs. Oh, yeah. Pull out your Glock. Pull out my Glock. Right, oh, right. I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong. Oh, okay. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> this guy isn't getting the picture here. I'm uncomfortable with this. Oh no! You'll never defeat me! You're too powerful. He's too powerful to be left alive. I need him! <laughs> Are you I was just watching that scene the other day. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. No! Oh. No, that's, that's episode four. Uh, yeah, you're... <laughs> oh no, that's it's episode not five, true. My bad. Yeah. Oh, it could also be episode three. Vader's no. Oh yeah, fair. There's a lot of no's in the uh, series. Was episode? Did you guys see episode eight or nine? No. But yes. I think I saw eight. But you'd have to remind me I of also what each not. one was because I forget. They're kind of unmemorable. Yeah. The game after was with the with Hoth with Snap Salt Hoth. Salt Hoth. Salt Hoth. Cool. Oh. Yeah, that one had. I don't. I guess you didn't see it. Like, there's a scene where they like have a. A fight, a la the Hoth battle, um, and it looks a lot like Hoth until you realize that it's all salt, yeah, and just... it, like it oxidizes when the speeders go over them, and it turns red. It's really cool. Oh, that's cool. That is like, cool. the whole the whole thing that we were noticing with the new movies is they're just the original like series, but like new. <laughs> yeah. I like, call uh, it episode seven starts with her on like a sand planet, and then she uh, gets the Millennium Falcon to escape, yeah, right. and then it ends with them blowing up a uh, a big laser. Space station, basically. Yeah. I call it Disney fan fiction. Yeah. Episode eight, I guess, had the uh, the salt hot, so there was that. <laughs> I mean, I guess them being in like a spaceship, like fleeing from the Empire, was kind of. I don't remember that being done in the earlier ones. And then the last one, I uh, had the big old grand finale fight between. I don't remember. What was the last one? The last one was when Darth Sidious comes back to life. Oh, you're right. For no apparent reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did hear about this. Oh, I need to go buy the thing. I mean, Darth Sidious is cool, don't get me wrong, but definitely came out of nowhere. That's there's like pretty there literally dumb. no explanation, too. Yeah. Now, if Star Wars was normally like super dumb and goofy like that, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, but usually it's a, it usually but has... Star Wars is generally like more serious. Yeah, the new Disney ones, they definitely try to be like more goofy and like, oh, we're Disney. Got to yeah. kind of, you know. There's people yeah, there's shooting each other. More but, you know, attempts at humor. Here's Finn making a funny joke. Yeah, it's kind of a similar, in a similar vein to the Avengers stuff, which, which is fine. It's fine, fine but I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan. I of want it ones. to be Star Wars, though. It which doesn't is why, feel like back to your Star previous conversation, Wars. The Clone Wars animated series that we were talking about is still the best Star Wars. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm probably gonna watch oh, that again right after the this. anime type. Clone yeah, thing? yeah, the yeah. one that's made by the guy who did Samurai Jack. Okay, I I did always hear good things about that. It was so cool. But Josh, your girlfriend doesn't even like it, though. She she appreciates it. Um, her thing is she only likes the Star Wars with Obi Wan Kenobi, and she's got she's got a lady crush on him, like super oh, hard. Okay. Oh. To the point, <laughs> the sweatpants I'm actually wearing are like Jedi robe brown that she bought for me. I'm pretty sure she's <laughs> trying to dress me up as him. <laughs> Incredible. So she liked the scene where he's like on the uh, on the, the speeder jousting with Dirge. Because she, that's she cool. liked that. She really liked that. It actually really was cool. I'm here for the clones. I love the clones. I don't care what you say. Uh, no, the clones in that show are so much cooler than the droids. 
I'm not gonna lie. I think the only thing that's stupid is they have speeder bikes with their faces on them. That just cracks me up every time. Wait, who? The clones? The clones, when they're doing the, the speeder jousting, they get on little speeder bikes with like little clone trooper helmets like built oh, into them. I didn't see that. I have to yeah, check, check it out. It looks so silly. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, the clones, especially the ARC troopers, are so yeah. cool. And you know what? Even the newer Clone Wars, uh, the most recent series, isn't bad. Yeah, I mean, they still have the ARC troopers in there. That's all I care about. <laughs> the ARC troopers. Arc Troopers and Captain Fordo, my favorite There's no people. Captain Fordo in the new one, though. I thought Captain Fordo was in the new one. No? Unless he's, like, deep. I haven't finished episode 7, which is, like, Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Rex. Oh, yeah, Rex is, like, in all of them. He's still pretty cool. The, the clone commandos from Public Commando make a cameo. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Watch out for Tentacruel. He's gonna, he's gonna come and get you with his toxic. Oh, no. Not Tentacruel. I think we're in the clear. Oh. Now. Wow, look at him. Oh, he's, he's coming for you. It's Tentacruel. Cultist. I don't know about this. Isn't the fog here, like, right behind you? It is. You're just, you're just gonna humor him? Yeah, why not? It could be fun to fight in this kind of area where you can't roll. You can, it's just... Oh, dear. Ooh, that was some Dark Souls next level uh, latency. Oh, shoot. Oh. oh! I couldn't roll out of that. Disrespectful. Oh, he's got the Aishwama. Wait, is that the Aishwama? Yeah, Helmet? it is. I love the names. Well, he's got the too. cosplay thing going on, or not cosplay. He's got the. Oh, yeah, cosplay. He's got the role playing cosplay. thing go down. Ooh, he I guess because he's a tentacultist. Oh. Is that what? So he has a double horns. It's like role play, but for costumes. That's what the name came from. Cosplay. I believe so. Aren't you like? <laughs> Aren't you, like, learning that... the roots of all words for your major? Not really, no. Not yet, no. at least. Oh, no. This still feels like something you should know. <laughs> <laughs> Write your thesis on that. Cosplay versus roleplay. <laughs> they don't teach you the roots of cosplay at college. Dang. In linguistics, unfortunately. Why you should get that going? amended. <laughs> I should. I mean, they probably the curriculum. Do. I don't know. Most of the stuff that I learned when it comes to like history of language comes from that history of English podcast. That's a really cool podcast. If anybody's interested, it's just a dude, and he's not a linguist, and he's not a his. Well, no, maybe he is a historian, but he goes through all of the whole, like even from like the beginning till from like Proto Indo European, which is like the first one of the first languages that pretty much everything in Europe derives from. Uh, and it's cool to see because some of those words you can still kind of see them in real life now nowadays times. That's Nerd. been a... <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Speaking of being a nerd, I think I found my new favorite YouTube channel to watch for now. Big boy Billy's so, a bonanza. Uh, well, that, but also <laughs> DIY Jesus perks. <laughs> What's it called, Mike? <laughs> DIY perks. This guy is a freaking. He's like a genius. Yeah. What does he do? He makes like a bunch of random DIY stuff, sometimes involving computers, mostly involving like LEDs and like LED stuff. Okay. I think I've heard of that guy. He's not the one that like made a computer out of like a, a bunch of parts off of Wish. Is no. He? Well, oh, actually, okay. a lot of people do that, but oh, he okay. made, uh, for example, he made a computer in uh, a like two inch thick desk. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. And then later he made a um, a shelf that goes over top of it with a monitor that folds down. Oh, that's but like he, he custom made the table and the shelf. It, everything is custom made. And then like his I mean, cooling solution is, is custom too. It's like a bunch of Noctua fans just inside the table. His cooling solution is he just pours monster energy over his uh, computer. Hey. I mean, that's one way to do it. Hey, you know. Ding dong, the Sif is dead. How dare you disrespect my boy like that? <laughs> he was the goodest boy. He was the goodest boy. Well, I was wondering how you could uh, Estus chug through some attacks. I guess it's the wolf ring. Yeah. I think we should switch to ring of favor. Go for it. My dear. And, and Havel, because that's my go-to rings. Do you need Havel if you have the ring They're literally the best rings in the game, so. Bold statement. I think so, anyway. Did we fully explore the forest? No, we need to go fight the giant uh, roly-poly cats. Yeah. <laughs> roly-poly-poly. Wow. 
Yeah. I was hoping you'd come in with a second verse. Because I don't remember it. <laughs> He's small and smart and round. Yay! And round. My boy coming through clutch for me. Oh. <laughs> oh, he yeah, agreed. And in, 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 the round, in, in the land of... Like curls and swirls, he's the swellest kid around. Or something, oh. right? I used to watch that show all the time. That could be the wrong lyrics, though. I'm scared, you guys. I will, I will literally, uh, I don't know, like tap you on the cheek if it's the wrong lyrics. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't remember that thing at all in this game. What? <laughs> it's like a rat cat. Rat. Yeah. Pausing. Uh, see, I'm conflicted because my rats do not like cats. And I, out of respect for them, also do not like cats. That's why we have dogs to keep the cats away. <laughs> the dogs and rats enjoy a symbiote. Yeah, there's a there's a few of these things over here. What the f Josh? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> you gotta stop me because I'll just keep Ooh. talking. I don't think anymore. I just talk. Oh, he's doing a shuffle. In the sh a truffle shuffle. Oh! Oh, there's three. I didn't re. Oh, I thought there was only two. Whoops. Nah, darling, there's three. <laughs> oh, that home didn't nice, hardcore nothing. Nice, nice dude. Ne uh, they're cowards. These cats are cowards. Cats are cowards. They only go after rats because they can't fight any bigger prey. <laughs> you know what else they kept in? I just noticed what? the spell cancel. Oh damn! Wait, what does that do? Uh, here I'll show you. Oh yeah. Didn't yeah, you, you just turn around real quick. I you used to do that with Wrath of the Gods yeah, all the time. You can fake people out. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Woo! <laughs> Can't say that. Yeah, it was loud and ear piercing. It scared me. I'm sorry, Billy. Well, at least it's judged, so. We all won in the end. You know what scares me? The fact that we're not saving money on DoorDash by using Dash Pass. <laughs> Dash Pass for all your drunk and alcoholic pizza desiring needs. <laughs> and they are many. We know. We know, we have your order history, you fat idiots. <laughs> you loser. Oh Same dash you three times in one day. Idiot. Fire. I was hungry. Uh, you know what, gentlemen? What? Uh, defeating those cats was actually kind of pointless. I now realize. Oh, yeah. I think they're just kind of like over here. Uh, Is there, because there, there were no item items. Is there not an like, item on top of that hill or can we not even get up there? You can't get up there. Okay. At least not by normal means. It's cats only. Yeah, cats only, get out. <laughs> cool cats Cat, club. Cats rule, dogs rule. I think there is like a crystal, crystal ember in here though, isn't there? Yes, I actually picked it up already. Oh, okay. Um, and then was promptly punched in the face by a daddy mushroom. Oh boy. Or mommy mushroom, one of the two. It hit me so hard it's a little fuzzy at, at, at this time. <laughs> I wish you had less rigid morals, because there's a lot of jokes I want to make that I just stop myself for your <laughs> sake. Mike Champ. Giant dad. Well, Stone Elf. Oh! Oh my goodness. What are you doing over here? Where, yeah, where did this guy come from? <laughs> Teleports behind you. Nothing no. personal, kid. Well done with that guy. <laughs> wow. uh, uh. Gosh, I'm right on the edge, though. I don't know if I'm gonna. Okay. Ooh, where'd he go? Ooh, he's teleporting. And, and just like that, he was gone. It's instant transmission. <laughs> Instant transmission? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> DBZ. Oh, it's a Dragon Ball Z reference? Yeah, it's the thing where Goku can do yeah, And he's just back over. where he was. <laughs> what a hero. Um, Now's your chance cool. to teleport behind him. You're right. Slowly. Slowly. To Slowly him, it'll seem like a teleport. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> he's like, oh, oh woo, who dead? Oh, no. He sends to your Rayatsu. My what? <laughs> <laughs> your Rayatsu. <laughs> some, some some stupid thing from Bleach, I think, from the anime Bleach. Oh, what's, what's the uh, what's that like weird word that's like uh, describing food? Like mukbang. No. Describing food. It's gonna bother me now, Aiden. You absolutely know what it is. Tasty. Doordash. Yeah. It's some Japanese word. Feel I think. Oh, umami. Umami. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I've heard Best that one flavor. before. Yeah, it's just, I think it's basically savory. I think. Yeah, well, dude, we're, I was having a conversation about this with with Laura, I think, but I forget how or why. Huh. Laura's in a quest to find the best umami flavor. <laughs> the ultimate umami. Yeah, I guess. She has a she has a oh. Food Network channel. Umami. We were like umami she was describing like she was describing something she was eating, and then like we were I was like I was looking up like the different uh, types of tastes of food, and there's like a bunch. It's like five. Huh. One of them is umami, which is That's... not quite savory, but it's kind of like savory, I guess. 
Right, yeah. I don't know, man. Gotta love umami. What's an umami food? I have no idea. We should ask Laura. She's the one with the YouTube channel. Or yeah, whatever we said it was. Food Network, Network show. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I was just saying, don't you remember Laura has a, uh, she has a Food Network show uh, called Umami Pursuits with Laura. I know. It's definitely something that she did. I mean, flavor. I do have, she does have a YouTube channel that's old and I have yet to go through her videos, so you could be right. I, <laughs> what, what do I know? I just learned the other day that she used to do, um, pie face videos where like someone would shove a, pi a pie in her face and then that, that was <laughs> really? the video, I guess. I, huh. I need to look these up at some point. Ooh, okay, here we go. is the fifth taste. Alongside sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. Umami and substances fire! and food. We've got sardines, a bonito, which I guess is a fish, tomato, onion, broccoli, green asparagus, chicken is umami. Parmesan uh, cheese, mushrooms. Chicken is umami. Hey viewers, just wanted to remind you that I also have a Twitch channel, so don't forget to follow me there. If you're interested in Big Boy Billy's Banana Bonanza and where to find him, he also has a Twitch channel, and he has a YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe and follow to him. He currently has an ongoing series called Let's Investigate, where he answers questions that nobody asked yet need to be answered, so links are in the description. Thanks.